Hi guys, welcome back to the Revive Stronger channel. I'm your host as always, Steve Hall. We are in another summary episode and that is number 111 with Brian Cran, a fantastic episode from a really interesting guy and a really enjoyable conversation. So let's dive straight into the summary points. Summary point number one, is that a lot of the time we view the gym and our diet and micromanaging things as a chore, as something that is difficult, a grind, something that we don't maybe want to do. And that's actually a really bad way to view things and better is to view it as a choice. We always have a choice. We go to the gym as a choice. We go and manage our diet and nutrition as a choice. And that's actually a privilege and something that we should be very happy that we can actually do because there's people all over the world who cannot do that. So always take some perspective. I think that's a much more powerful and very empowering way to look at your training and nutrition as a choice that you are making. Summary point number two is a really simple point. If you work hard and you're consistent and you're adherent to your training and nutrition and you abide by the simple principles across 10 to 20 years, you will get very close, if not to your goals. Consistency and hard work go a very long way to take you towards your goals. Summary point number three is that it's important to respond to feedback. So whether that be to your nutrition, whether that be to your training, what exercises do you find give you a good pump? Which exercises do you find give you a bit of soreness the next day? Which exercises do you find you get a good mind-muscle connection with? Which exercises do you enjoy? Same with food. What foods do you find give you gastric distress? What foods do you find are very tasty and very, very good to your digestion? What foods do you find don't maybe go together? There's loads of different ways to think about this. And I think when we blindly just eat what we think we should be eating and train how we think we should be training, we ignore our individuality, which is so, so important within our training and nutrition plans. Point number four is an excellent point, And that is making small variants to our current training and nutrition can go a long, long way. Generally, if you're taking an educated approach to your training, to your nutrition, you shouldn't need to completely change what you're doing. And you might just need to make a tiny adjustment just to see the result you want. That might mean you go from a normal grip bench press to a close grip bench press. It might mean that you go from a chin up to a pull up, slight tweaks, slight variants, or maybe you just increase the repetition range. Very easy ways to make tiny tweaks to keep adaptations going. Just like if you're trying to gain weight and you see it's starting, starting to stall, you may not need to increase by loads of calories. It might just be an extra 100 or 200. Same for dieting down. Small tweaks go a long, long way, guys. Point number five is that for some people, there seems to be this missing link for them with their training. Some people really lack that intent that focus. If you've ever seen The Rock over on Instagram and him taking the piss and going, focus. There's some serious message behind that in that some people are just going through the motions, especially when they're training things like their abs, their calves, maybe even their biceps. They're just flinging around the weights. They're not really thinking about the muscle contracting. They're not really feeling how things are responding. And they're maybe just bouncing off the ligaments on their uh, calves and maybe not really training their abs and more so training like hip flexors when they're doing their, their abdominal training. And this is really important to have that intent, to have that focus, to have that drive. When you're in the gym, you've got a job, you're to train the musculature that you're trying to train. So that's summary point number five, guys. Our favorite quote from today's podcast is consistency and hard work are the most important ingredients to long-term success. Consistency and hard work, guys. Take that away with you from today. So I hope you've enjoyed this summary from Brian Cran, episode 111. And as always, if you enjoyed this summary, if you enjoyed the podcast, give us a like, give us a share, subscribe to the channel, give us a little picture over on Instagram and tag us. We love that. And all of your comments are very well appreciated. So guys, revive stronger and we'll catch you soon.